All right, y'all. So today we're going to talk about holidays in prison, but I'm going to start off with my first Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving was the first holiday that I was in jail for. I got arrested on Halloween. So, you know, Thanksgiving is the next shit up, right? So every day is the same in prison, right? Holiday, no holiday. It doesn't matter. The only difference is on holidays, you don't get mail. Right? So you have a little less contact with the outside world because normally you get mail, pictures, stuff like that, magazines. None of that shit comes in on a holiday. So you still get the phone and stuff. So, you know, call all your people, say what's up, you know, just typical shit. But um, a big thing that people like to do in prison is eat, okay? But they eat, like to eat together. So like your group of people, like for instance, you guys have seen my homies. Those would be the people that I eat with. You know what I mean? And not go down to the chow hall and eat. Like, yeah, we walk down there together and shit. But we go down and give our tray away. We don't eat that shit like that. We eat commissary. You know what I mean? That's how most prisons are. Most people would just rather eat commissary because it at least tastes better. So everybody's like, yo, we're going to cook this big ass meal. Mind you, I've only been in jail a couple weeks at this point. So I'm like, all right, bet. Like, just tell me what y'all need. They're like, no, you going, you cool. You don't even need nothing, bro. Just cook it. So I'm like, okay, cool. A lot of times, it's, it's say somebody don't really have shit like that. I ain't been there long, so I ain't really got on my shit yet. They'll just have that person cook it. So that's like their way of contributing to the meal. So I'm like, all right, bet. They give me all the food and shit. They give me some trash bags. You know, I'm finna cook the food. So I don't know anything about cooking prison food at this point. I've only been there a little bit. So I'm like, all right, like, how do I do it, right? So I crush all the soups up, you know, everything. Throw them in a bag. Well, my dumb ass, you're only supposed to use a couple seasoning packs. We got 16 soups. I'm supposed to use five, maybe six seasoning packs total. And that's even a lot, right? So my dumb ass put 16 chicken soup seasoning packs into the motherfucking food. You know, make it all, give it to everybody. Everybody eats a bite, right? And they're like, bro, this shit gross. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I did it how you guys told me. They're like, dude, how many seasonings did you use? I was like, you, all the ones that you gave me. They're like, you put 16 seasonings in this? And I'm like, yeah, that's how many soups are where they're like, nah, bro. They're like, you need like one seasoning for every two or three soups. I'm like, yeah, so there's a little more than that in there. They're like, dude, we can't even eat this. So that's like $50, $60 down the drain right there for our Thanksgiving meal. So I'm like, damn, like, this shit sucks. So we all go, we're going to cook again. So this time I contribute what I got because I'm like, man, I ain't cooking this shit. You know what I mean? So for whatever reason, in our county jail, they have this weird thing about cabbage, right? And it sounds really weird, but they give us cabbage like on every fucking tray that we get for dinner, right? But people would take all that cabbage and stick it in the microwave because there's a microwave in the county jail. Upstate, there's stingers and buck 90s, but in the county jail that I was in, there was microwaves. They'll put this shit in the microwave with some seasoning on it, right? Put that shit for like five minutes until it starts like boiling and shit. Then they'll just like mix it up, put it back in. Till this shit is like crispy as fuck, right? But like, I don't like cabbage like that. You know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, like you guys are kind of fucking this food up. So they put that shit on top. So I just scrape all that shit off and throw it out. And they're like, dude, you really gonna disrespect our food like that? I'm like, bro, that shit gross. Like, I don't know what y'all want. Eat our eat our food, everything's good. So they're like, yo, like, you know, what y'all wanna do? Like, we could watch football, we could gamble, we do better. So I was like, yo, let's just play spades. So I've known how to play spades since I was like 13, because I had went to juvenile placement. A lot of people learn how to play cards when they're in placement or in prison. Like when I went to jail, I knew how to play like spades and hearts. I came home, I know how to play P knuckle, every form of poker that you want to play. And uh like, you know, that's just how it goes, because you wanna kill a lot of time when you're in there, so you know you play cards with people. So we sit there, we play cards for a couple hours, they lock us in for a little bit and shit, let us come back out. My mom comes up to see me, right? We're in the county, so it was a contact visit. Oh, no, 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 That was the following year. I'm sorry. My mom didn't come up then because they don't do county, county don't, uh, that county jail don't do uh, holiday visits. I'm sorry. That was Cumberland. Um, so I call my people when I'm talking to them and shit, and you know, it's just like, it's our first, you know, holiday away. So it's like kind of fucking sucks. And I'm just like, oh, no, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Because at the time, from my sentence, I was only supposed to get, like, nine months for my sentence, right? Because I had no prior shit like that. Like, a juvenile prior, but that wasn't supposed to count. So at the time, everybody was like, yo, you're going to get, like, nine to 23 months in the county. So I would go to court a couple weeks later. They're like, no, uh, your mandatory minimum is at least five years, so you're not doing anything less than that. And now I'm like, I'm 18. I cried. It was sad. I was sad. But at the end of the day... I learned real fast that, like, you only in this position because of you. Can't be mad at nobody else. So at the end of the day, I'm not going to sit here and be better about it and complain about it because if I wouldn't have, if I wouldn't committed robberies, I wouldn't have been in fucking jail to start with. So let me go ahead and just, you know, get on my shit. And, uh, you know, was in the county for a couple months. 
and uh, was always fighting when I was down there. Because, like, when I first went in, like, it was like, okay, look, I'm not going to let nobody fuck with me. Like, I'm 18. You know what I mean? People are trying me and shit like that. And not on some weird shit, but on some, like, oh, you's a bitch. You's, oh, I'll throw hands. Like, let's go. So then I kind of got, like, a little bit of a reputation in the county for, like, wanting to fight all the time. And kept going to the hole, kept going to the hole. So when I went to go get sentenced, I was like, damn, they're going to fuck me because I've been in all this trouble. But they can't use none of that really against you because they don't got nothing to do with your case. So, yeah, basically, county jail is fucking whack. I was happy when I went up to state, but we'll get into more of that later. Um, like I said, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys want. If you guys want stories, go ahead, drop the comment on what stories you want. I'll run this shit just like I do on TikTok. I'll answer y'all comments. I'll put the comment. I don't know how to put the comment on there. I'll have to try to edit and like stick it in there or something. But just let me know what you guys want. You know what I mean? I do this stuff because you, I want to entertain y'all. I want to share my stories with y'all. So if y'all want specific stories, just hit me with them. Tell me what you want me to hear. Or tell me what you want to hear from me. You know what I mean? There's a fucking thing on my phone. And it keeps fucking... I keep thinking it's on my hoodie. But, um... Oh, completely unrelated. Got my creator fund back this morning. Ha! <laughs> so, you know they're mad about that. But not really because at the end of the day, they're the ones who did it. So, it is what it is. So... Still gonna be done TikTok June thirtieth. That ain't gonna change. At least I can make money until then, though, because you know I'm trying to donate this shit. So that makes me happy that I'll be able to actually drop a decent donation. And um, you know, uh, going back to Cali tomorrow to get all my stuff. You guys will hear the story time of what's going on with the Degenerates House and everything soon. Once I'm out there, once we're all together, you know, I'll drop the story time so everybody knows what's going on. It's not as serious as you guys think it is. It's not some bad thing that happened. Nothing like that. But um, the main thing is, man, the last thing I want to say before I go, right, is remember that no matter what you do in your life, right, getting in trouble, being good, none of that, whatever you did before, it don't matter if you don't, you know, continue doing what's right for you and your family going forward. You know what I mean? I don't care what you did in the past, besides some sex shit, like that shit, no, we not fucking around with that fucking predatory shit. But anything besides that, like... You can redeem yourself. You can. You can come back from that shit. And you can make a difference for people. At the end of the day, I tell people all the time, if I'm able to stop one person from going to jail, I'm able to stop one person from becoming a victim out there in the world. That's a win for me. Like I said the other day, seeing my mama smile at me, that's a win for me. Waking up every morning free, that's a win for me. It's the small shit for me, man. Y'all do so much for me. And I never want y'all to forget how appreciative I am of each and every one of you that take the time to watch my videos, whether it be on TikTok, YouTube, whatever. You guys are the reason I'm in this position. I worked hard on myself to be a better person coming home. I worked hard working dumbass jobs that I hated for a long period of time after I came home before any of this happened. But y'all support really allowed me to make this thing that I didn't even know was a dream into a, a reality for me. Nobody I, nobody ever thought that I'd be able to do this. I never thought I'd be able to do this. I didn't even know this was a thing when I came home. I didn't know content creation was an actual thing. I knew there was YouTubers, but I didn't know anything about none of this shit. I didn't know anything about a TikTok. That wasn't even a thing when, when, I, was, when I was home. There wasn't no fucking TikTok. There wasn't even Musical.ly. There wasn't even Snapchat or Instagram. That shit had just come out. Nobody even was using it yet. We had Facebook. I'm 27. We have Facebook and MySpace, okay? Y'all probably too young for MySpace. But y'all are the reason I'm in this position. And don't ever forget that. I might talk a lot of shit on my TikToks. But y'all know who it's aimed at. It's not aimed at y'all. It's not. And you guys know that, okay? So don't ever be like, damn, Colin don't, don't, Colin don't fuck. No, I fuck with every single one of my, of my supporters. Every single one. The haters, you already know. They can suck on it.